Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. How are you all? I hope so that you all will be fine. As you know that we are revising chapter number 1, Dorothy meets the scarecrow. And we have completed its reading with vocabulary. And it's a part that is the comprehension. And we have completed uh, the part 1, answer the following question. Then part 2, answer the questions about these lines from the story. And 3 part, uh, which of these sentences are true or false? Today we are going to complete part B that is working with words. So look here students, the first one statement of part B is, can you find these words in the story? The letters are not in the correct order. Here some words are given that is not in correct order and you have to first find the right one word uh, with correct spelling and then you have to find that whether you have read these words in the story or not the first one is a part f e d s t u f this word is actually stuffed s t u double f e d stuffed and you will uh, see in the reading that you have read this word in the story now students look here on page number 3 the word stuffed is present here in the fourth line of first paragraph S T U double F E D stuffed the second one word is C R O W S R A C E this is scarecrow S C A R E scare C R O W crow scarecrow uh, you have read this word in the uh, story uh, for a lot of time uh, we can see in the reading uh, in the heading of this uh, chapter you can also find the word scarecrow and then here uh, er, in the first one paragraph you find the word scarecrow so uh, this word you have read in the story now we move towards the part C this is L-A-M-E-R-E-D this is actually emerald E M E R A L D Emerald. Look at the page number four. You can find this word in the second line of the first one paragraph. Emerald word is find here. Now look at D part H O T Z E R G A T E. This is the Great Oz. T H E the G R E A T Great O Z Oz. Now look in the reading that where you find this word. Look here on page number 4. Uh, in the very starting line uh, you can find the word the great Oz. Then uh, here in the middle of the page the great Oz word you can find. So you have also read this word in the story. That is E part. It is C O L D. F I N E R. This word is actually cornfield. C O R N corn. F I E L D. Cornfield. Uh, uh, if you remember the story, uh, you come to know that you also have read this word. Now look here on page number 2. The word cornfield is there in the very starting paragraph of the story. So, this word is also present in the story. Now, look at F part. G U W -L, L E T F R A Y. This is actually the word gratefully. G R A T E F U W -L, L Y. Gratefully. G R A T E F U W -L, L Y. Gratefully. Now look in the story that whether this word is present over there or not. Look here, this is page number 5. You have read this word gratefully also in the story. Now you can find that all the words uh, you have find in the story. Now look at B part. Which word in each list is not spelt correctly? Here uh, are some uh, words are given in each list. 
you have to find the word which is not spelled rightly and you have to then correct that word now look at the first one a part friendly f r i e n d l y the second one word is field f i e l d field then freedom freshly fried but you know that the spelling of fried are not spelled rightly so the actual spelling of fried are f r i e d now look at b part e s c a p e escape d i s c o v e r discover the next one word is i n s p e c t inspect this is excuse this is the word which is not spelled rightly this is actually excuse e x c u s e now the look at the next one word a d c c i d e n t this is the right one so you have to correct this word now look at c part d e s i d e d this is actually decided but you know that uh, the word s is not appropriate here uh, when we are going to write down decided the actual spellings are d e c i d e d decided we have to write down c in place of s now look at the next one word d i s m a y e d dismayed this is right one d i s p l a y e d displayed d e s t r o y e d destroyed d e s e r t e d deserted all that words which are remaining one are right but decided is the only word which is not spelled correctly now look at d part q u i c k l y quickly this is right q u e u e q this one is also right q u i t e l y this word is not spelled correctly the actual spelling of quietly are q u i e t l y so you have to correct it now look at the next one word q u w e n coin this is the right one q u e s t i u n question this is also right one this this part is also completed now look at part 3 try to find these words in the story here some stories are given and you have to find out the right one word and whether you uh, you find that you have uh, read this word in the story or not this keeps an area closed off or protected usually made of wood that thing which closed the area and protect it is called a fence as you have read in the story and you can learn here that this is fence it is made of wood and it has closed the area of the field this is fence you can find the word here in the story now look at b part something worn on the head to keep one warm or to keep the sun off this is hat h a t hat now look here uh, the scarecrow is wearing a hat and this word is also included in the story you can find here the word hat on page number 3 on the second line h a t hat now look at c part a thin piece of metal with a sharp point at one end and a round head at the other a thin sharp pointed metal piece and a one round head is actually a pin now look at page number 4 we can find the word pin here p i n pin look at the part a container used for holding things often made of interwoven strips of wire or cane that is called basket 
Now look here that this uh, basket is also included in the story and the word basket is used here on page number 5. B A S K E T basket. Now look at E part. These rodents look like large mice with long tails and pointed snouts. And pointed snouts. These are actually rodents are actually some animals, some mammals which have long teeth and they can cut things with that teeth. The example of that one is mice or rats. And we have also read this word in the story. Now look here on page number 5. The word rats are used here. Now look at F part. The organ of the body is the in the skull. It controls movements, sensations and thoughts. That is called brain. And we have also read this word in the story. Now look here. There is also word brain used. In the next, uh, after a few lines, the word brain is used here. So we can find this word for a lot of time. Now we have completed our B part working with words. And I think so it's quite clear to you. And this is very interesting exercise. And you have to do it on your books. I think so it's quite clear to you. And you will do it quite vigilantly. Take care of yourself. Allah face.